Doctor, can you touch on the potential cardiovascular benefits of xanthohumol? Well, that's that, I, it, it, the, the cancer benefits in vitro mm -hmm. uh, are promising enough, but I mean, when you add the cardiovascular, which is uh, the, the, the cancer and cardiovascular are the two main causes of uh, chronic debilitating disease and causes of death mm -hmm. in this country. I mean, you, you get something that's, uh, that, that's almost astounding. Uh, xanthohumol does have very profound cardiovascular benefits including uh, the inhibition of the activation of platelets in the, bl in the bloodstream, which is what, what, what triggers the blood to clot and causes thromboses in the coronary arteries. Xanthohumol is a flavonoid antioxidant in uh, healthy concentrations, seems to help uh, prevent cardiovascular events and help prevent heart attacks. Just generically, the flavonoid antioxidants, the, high, the, uh, the, 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 the more optimal the dose of the flavonoid antioxidant, the, the lower the incidence of cardiovascular disease and heart attacks seems to be. This is not only for xanthohumol, this is, this is across the board. So xanthohumol does interfere with, with, with the thrombus formation, which leads to, uh, to blockages all over the body and if, it's, if it happens to be in your, uh, in your heart or in your brain, you're, you're, you can wind up with either a stroke or a heart attack. It also uh, impacts many other th uh, factors, physiological factors in the body that contribute to cardiovascular disease. As a powerful antioxidant, it prevents free radical damage to, to the arteries. Uh, as far as the antioangiogenesis benefits of xanthohumol, it prevents the migration, uh, invasion of the endothelial cell. Endothelial cells are the cells lining the insides of the artery, and it prevents them from migrating to different places and forming new blood vessels, which, mm -hmm. is, uh, which is basically how it works. It also prevents, as I said, low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, from being oxidized. And LDL is a known trigger of hardening of the arteries. It, it inflames the arteries, and it forms a cascade of different physiological events that leads to arterial uh, uh, blockage, which we know is, uh, is arteriosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries.